Hey ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another fragrance review. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at a fragrance by a brand new company called January Scent Project, and the fragrance is called Salpernicu, so stay tuned. Now the perfumer for this one is John Beeble. This is a 2017 release, so it's a brand new scent. It's actually a new company. This is a writer, somebody who used to write for and still writes for Fragrantica. My friend Carlos and I did a video on all three of their fragrances, and we even did a giveaway in that video. Uh, if you wanna check it out, I am gonna leave a link down below. I'm also gonna leave an annotation or a tag here. So this fragrance is probably the most peculiar one of the bunch. And full disclosure, this was sent to me for review. Uh, the perfumer reached out to me uh, and he said, which one would you like? I would love to send you a full size bottle. So I want to give a little bit back to the community. So I'm going to be doing a 5 ml decan draw. So make sure to stay tuned until the very end of the video to find out how you can enter. Now with this fragrance in particular, the reason I chose it is because it was the weirdest one of the bunch. Not weird in a bad way though. So I'm excited to talk about the smell. Let's take a closer look at the presentation. So the box for this one is a nod or an homage to uh, the fact that the perfumer is also a painter. So he came up with all of these graphics, wraps around, it has some more information on the back, nothing going on at the bottom, just an ink splatter. And then in terms of the bottle, I do believe it's a stock bottle, so it's nothing too fancy, but I actually really like the simplicity in this one. So I like the unusual shape of the cap. It does not click into place though, so do not pick this one up from the cap. Uh, the distribution on the atomizer is pretty good, gets the job done. So let's go ahead and continue with the smell. Now, I'm not gonna talk about the notes for this fragrance because even when I did it in that video, I remember thinking to myself, yes, the notes convey one sort of image of how it's going to smell, but when you smell it, when you put your nose to the scent strip, you get something totally different. So for me, I'm gonna describe it more so with accords. I think it has a tart accord, or it has a tart quality about it, a very mildly floral quality about it, and this sort of balmy, dare I even say buttery, component. It smells buttery, it smells milky, and I don't know if you've ever had milk with honey in it, but it kind of gives off that sweet, milky, creamy vibe. It um, There's another scent by uh, Thagoya, and I might be mispronouncing that name, but it's called Quilombo. I have that scent. I love it too. I think both of these are in the same family. This one sort of smells buttery, creamy, it has a richness about it, it's warm, it's cozy, it's comforting. Like this is the type of scent that I would love to wear in my living room, listening to classical music, my fireplace turned on, just having maybe a glass of wine, reading a good book, when I just wanna cozy up, I wanna smell warm and inviting, and this is just, it just puts me in that mindset. So one thing that I really appreciate about these kinds of fragrances is that they do have that power to have that sort of influence on you where it just makes you from, I don't know, stressed or upset to just being happy with one spray. And this is one of those fragrances. Although I do have to caution the viewers at home, this is not a blind buy. So please don't blind buy this fragrance. I personally got it because I love the artistic representation in it. I think the aesthetics of it and the smell, the way that it's composed, the blend itself is so unorthodox. And for that reason, I personally really like it, but I would not recommend you blind by this scent. But I think it's a wonderful scent, uh, quite a talented individual behind this one. He's a painter as well. So he came up with all of the graphics for each one of these fragrances. I mean, there's really no point in sharing the notes with you guys because I think this one is best described with accords. There's no one individual note, unfortunately, that you're able to pick up. So let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, as far as the uniqueness, listen, this is an incredibly unique scent. I know I made one comparison, but even that scent is a unique scent. This is not the type of fragrance that you would expect to smell anywhere in the industry. So for that reason, I love how it just stands out. In terms of a creative aspect, it is a breath of fresh air. Longevity on this one is quite beastly. Um, I kind of hate to say. Uh, this is one of those fragrances where it is gonna be a, a commitment. Some people like that. I like, the, I like the type of fragrance that gets me through the workday. As long as I get like seven hours, I'm happy. This one is 12 plus though. So if that's your style, then uh, you know it's all in your favor. 
Next up, we have projection. This one will jump up off your skin, radiate beyond an arm's length for two to three hours, which I think is monstrous, and then it does settle closer to the skin. It becomes a skin scent at the eighth hour of application. And then in terms of versatility, I do have to say it's compromised a little bit just because of how weird of a smell this is. Um, how often do you want to smell creamy, buttery, and milky? So that's up to you. That's up to you. I think from a personal standpoint, it's going to smell really good. From a practical or pragmatic standpoint, I would probably wear this one dressed up. Maybe not a suit and tie when you're really trying to impress, but when you want to stand out from the crowd, this is the kind of scent that's going to have that effect on people. I would wear this one all seasons, I think, just not in the dead of summer on a really hot day. I think it's perfectly unisex. I think the presentation is pretty cool. I kind of like the shape of the cap, um, but nothing too fancy, right? It's not a bi Killian coffin or anything like that. If I had to give this one a final verdict, my overall you know, impression of this, I love this scent. It's not one of my favorites, but it's I far from dislike it. I think it's an amazing scent, especially from a creative standpoint. You know, from time to time, we come across these fragrances like Interlude Man by Amouage, or dare I even say Secretia Magnifique by Tal Libre Durange, where it's like, wow, I did not know that this could be a fragrance. This is one of those scents. You're like, I didn't know this could be a fragrance. Thank you so much for tuning in. I would highly recommend you try it for yourself. I never recommend blind buys, but if there's some way that you can uh, find yourself a way of getting a sample of it, by all means, I highly encourage you do so. So here's how you can enter the giveaway. All you have to do is leave a comment down below and tell me what one fragrance is the coziest for you. Which one fragrance brings you the most peace of mind? So leave a comment down below. I'd be very interested to see what you come up with. And uh, that's all really you have to do. Just leave a comment down below. If you can like and share this video, I would appreciate that as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. That was my review of Selpernicu by January Scent Project. Uh, if you owner have tried this scent, let me know. Also, please don't forget to subscribe for future videos and remember to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. This way you never miss any of my future content. So thank you so much for tuning in once again and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.